Welcome back, it's a Serial Snacks, and today I want to talk about the guns in Borderlands 2 because there are just a ton of them, and the marketing said there's a gajillion bajillion of them, but there really aren't. There's, But there are tons of different guns in this game and tons of different combinations. It must be some kind of randomly procedurally generated thing that they've got going on. And much like Diablo, the game stats, of course, for the gun and what the like special effects of the guns and all that it can do is randomly generated. But the guns themselves are also randomly generated in terms of their design and what they look like. I don't think each gun was designed separately. I think it actually throws itself together component by component to give you a really cool looking gun depending on the type that it has. So they now have each manufacturer in the game has a different kind of personality. And I'm going to go through all of them. We've got the... the Bandit, the Doll, Hyperion, the Jacobs, Malawan, Tedior, Torque, or Torg, and Vladoff. So we're going to go through all these guns one by one. I'm going to start off with the Bandit. And I'm just going to explain all the special features of the guns and their distinctive style that each one has. So let's get going. Now the bandit gun is actually, it's pretty, they're pretty slick. They're, they usually look pretty cobbled together. They have teeth painted on them. They have duct tape wrapped around them. They're multicolored. They look like they've just, you know, a whole variety of guns slapped together to make a functional weapon. Now, one thing that's unique about bandit firearms is that they have the largest magazines in the game. So you can fire off the most bullets before reloading. Of course, they also have some of the slowest reload times. So... Of course, the theory is is that you should probably have killed the person before you have a chance to reload. So, you know, that's kind of the, the trade-off for that type of gun. So the bandit, pretty cool. Shark teeth painted on them. They just look very unique and cool, and they really do fit the bandits. So that's why it's called the bandit brand. The next brand we're going to look at is the doll brand. And the doll brand is a military brand. You can tell by the look of their weapons they have very military looking type guns with camo and all that sort of stuff they are more focused on well the, the special ability that they have is that when you zoom in on them even the pistols and the actually the sniper rifles they will fire off three bullets at a time so they're kind of like semi-automatic when you zoom in that can be kind of bad for a sniper rifle because you intend to go through the bullets very quickly for a small magazine but it can be pretty amazing for assault rifles pistols and submachine guns so, you know, some of the higher level doll pistols are pretty impressive because they have the elemental tech, which this game has, and pretty powerful weapon all around. And they're also pretty, pretty neat looking if you're looking for that military look. So the next company you see here is the Hyperion guns, and of course these are the guns that are the brand that belong to Handsome Jack's company, the villain of the game. And they are very futuristic looking, almost always like this yellowish color. They the only real downside to them is they have incredible sway, which means that your first shot is going to be very hard to hit because just because the accuracy is so terrible. Now, they also have stabilizer technology, which allows them to actually become better at aiming as time goes on. So the more you pull the trigger, the better the aim gets. Now, that means that the sniper rifles, for example, are pretty terrible for Hyperion because they the sway is really bad. But, you know, that doesn't necessarily mean you you discard it. You may find a really good one. Pistols and SMGs are buyer beware, but, you know, who knows, right? So, and of course, then, I, my personal preference with Hyperion are the shotguns, because they're very impressive and the sway doesn't really matter. And if you get a high rate of fire shotgun with a really big clip, you are really in good shape with the Hyperion. So, just my own thoughts on that. Let's move on to the next company. Okay, the Jacobs Corporation. This is one of my favorite guns just in terms of the style and the way it looks because it has that kind of old-fashioned western look to it. The revolvers have the spinning cylinders and the shotguns look like old west double-barreled shotguns basically. I like them also because they don't sway really at all so you can actually shoot off a pistol and the recoil is very minimal and you can really stay on target for the entire clip which is kind of nice for a gun like that. The other thing about the the shotguns are that they are so they are so perfect is that you can almost fire them at somewhat of a distance and you know they can only hold a few shots but they have a scope on them a lot of the time and they've got a really fast reload time so I, I like Jacob's shotguns for that but you know a lot of times I rely on the pistols just because of their power and their ability to aim very well so it's a very nice gun I would say for my assassin character, I like to think that Malawan is probably my favorite gun. I'm not sure exactly why. Part of it's that the colors and scheme is kind of nice. It's got this nice yellow, blue, and white 
scheme going on and every type of gun they have. But the other thing I really like about it is every gun has an elemental effect from Malawan. I really like that because you know a lot of times if you have even if you have a sniper rifle which I, I do happen to have when you shoot a character not only do you hit them with the incredible sniper rifle damage but they also get caught on fire or you know get shocked or whatever the elemental effect happens to be so if you don't shoot them you don't finish them off on that headshot well the burning will <laughs> so I really like that that for that respect they have you know all their weapons do this and I really you know their 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 burst fire kind of stuff is a lot like doll and but the only difference is the elemental addition so one of the more rare weapons they have is of course the rocket launchers but those are also a lot of fun because you shoot off a rocket and not only does it explode on somebody but like I said on the sniper rifle it sets them on fire too so you know what better way to finish off your enemies so I love the Malawan cool little gun the TDOR gun. Now the TDOR gun kind of reminds me of like the Walmart brand gun of Borderlands 2. It's very cheap looking, almost looks like a Nerf gun. And the coolest, coolest part about the TDOR, really the only thing to say about it is that when you reload, you actually chuck your gun at your, weapon, your enemy and it like explodes. And then a new one reappears in your hand fully loaded. So you gotta be really tactical about it. You can't just hit reload whenever you feel like it. You actually have to think about when's a good time to reload because that explosion from that gun exploding is actually very very beneficial so that's kind of the TDR it's kind of a goofy gun in a way and I, I like it in some respects but I also I hate that it's got such a small clip and that sometimes the reloads a little bit high but um, other than that it's, it's a pretty it's an all-around decent weapon I would say if not a little bit ridiculous Torg. Torg reminds me of like a Scottish gun or something like that. Some kind of gun that if the Scotsmen were still fighting the British, they would be wielding these huge massive guns that have these checkerboard patterns on them. They're just brutish guns. And one defining feature of the Torg is that they always shoot exploding rounds. So a lot of times it's great for like a Torg assault rifle because instead of just shooting bullets, you're basically shooting like you know automatic grenades in a way so that's kind of a neat feature of Torg and I like that for that respect I love the assault rifles for them they're one of my favorite things now stuff like the you know the rocket launchers aren't as great but they're still good I mean they do they pack the most damage of any rocket launcher in the game but they also shoot rockets that are so incredibly slow that really you can only use them on like you know creatures that don't move basically because you, you almost always will miss but still an all-around good gun, very powerful, especially if you have an assault rifle, in my opinion. Vladov's an interesting company, too. Their guns more are focused on high rate of fire, so they have assault rifles that are usually kind of ridiculous. They have, like, multiple barrels, and they're all spinning and doing all kinds of crazy stuff. Also, the pistols are more like mini submachine guns than they are pistols because of the automatic fire and the high rate of fire. The one real crazy thing about Vladov, and probably my favorite part about it, is their their rocket launchers. Because their rocket launchers are essentially like automatic rocket launchers. You can shoot off like 10 rockets at a time, and it does incredible amounts of damage. And now, of course, it's not the highest rate of damage of any rocket launcher in the game, but it's still pretty impressive. So, regardless, I hope you enjoyed my quick run-through of all of the manufacturers in Borderlands 2 of the guns, and enjoyed watching the guns as I talked and have a better idea of what Borderlands 2 weaponry has to offer. A lot of small detail in this game, and I think that really kind of little details like this really make a game go from being just a good game to a great game, and I really like that they've spent so much time being this detailed, even more detailed, I think, than the first game. So, anyway, if you liked, please like and subscribe, and thanks for joining me.